Hello again and welcome back to the channel. So today was one of those days, pretty long day at work. As you can probably tell from my voice, I'm a little bit under the weather. So just an all round shit day. And then I get home and there's a box, a parcel on my doorstep. Now if like me, you collect toys, then parcels on your doorstep, so nothing to be alarmed about. But I couldn't quite place what this one was. Get it inside, open it up, and lo and behold, it is the 40th anniversary Masters of the Universe Origins four pack, the infamous four pack. I actually passed on this, I undenied about it, but I did actually pass. But then I bitched and moaned about it to my wife for quite some time. And um, so she's obviously gone and got this for me. So uh, really, really chuffed to bits. I still cannot justify that price tag. It's, um, it's something that I think Mattel really should can reconsider and maybe bring it down but let's have a look at it so the box is your standard shipper that you get from Mattel Creations something that's actually um, really really quite nice to display if you have like the Wondar figures the Grizzly figures they all look nice together and this is no different but then on the back here so we have the beautiful illustrations of the four He-Man across time. So we got the 1983 original Filmation He-Man and the 1990 New Adventures, the 2000X He-Man and then finally the more recent He-Man from He-Man and the Masters of the Universe on the Netflix show. So very keen to see what these two figures are like. Um, this one is obviously the one which we've seen before, just a different head and this we already have in I think it was wave eight or nine. So I'm going to crack this open and take a look. Okay, so here it is out of the shipper box and it is very, very nice to look at. I have seen a review of this. I think it was on Carl Peterson's channel. He did a very good review of this, but I haven't seen many others. So I don't really have a good idea of what to expect. But this is obviously a retro style television set and you've got all the characters here. You've got four different Skeletors and four different He-Man, which makes me think, are they going to do a four pack of Skeletor? That would certainly be great. And I think that's something that Mattel could probably right some of their wrongs with that one. Um, on the side, some nice uh, embossed. This is all embossed, has a nice texture to it. Got all the gears and wires, 82 to 22. So that's that obviously 1982 to 2022. And more around the side. Let's take this off. And this is actually like a Perspex. So it's done really well. So it just comes straight off. Ah, okay. So I do remember this. So here we are. You've got He Man through the ages. September 26th. 1983 to November 21st 1985 so that's obviously the filmation He-Man through time so this was obviously the um, new adventures of He-Man I do remember that cartoon show but I didn't really watch it but September 1st to December 7th 1990 so it didn't run for too long that one and then the 2000X I didn't watch that one uh, it was a bit, bit older then August 16th 20. 2002 to January 10th, 2004, and then finally the latest, September 16, 2021 to current. So I haven't seen this show either. I'm not a huge fan of the figures in this line. They're a little bit bulky, but it's good to see that the line is still going. So let's start off with the, in fact, let's save the best to last. Let's take a look at the latest one first. Ah, oh, they really have put the effort in here. So that's just a standard slip, but it's done like a, an old school TV guide. Oh wow, and it even has the listings on the back. Let's pause the video if you want to have a read of that. And then this acts as a slip cover. There's this tissue paper everywhere. This is all inside the packaging to protect it. Now that's a nice looking figure. It does look different because these are much bulkier in this line. So it's good to see that they've reduced it down for the Origins book. And these, if you're wondering, all have slip covers. So you can actually just take it off, get to the figure and then put it back, which is probably what I'll be doing. I'll probably won't display 
the um, 2000 X one because I already have him from the standard line, but the rest I certainly will. But that's really nice. That artwork is just beautiful. And then let's take a look at the 2000 X. <laughs> What's going on? Looks like the Hulk. Uh, that's a bit strange. Ken, that old TV guide. Uh, so this is different. So they have actually have changed the card back. So the 2000X is actually different than we've already seen. The figure is pretty much the same apart from um, the VAC pack, the VAC metal um, accessories. And some more really nice artwork. Let's see if I can get those all in shot. And then the 2000X, this is the one that I'm uh, really, really excited about. See what they do with this one. He looks great. It doesn't quite work on the book because he was a much slimmer figure from memory. But regardless, it's nice that they've, they've kept them all in the same so you, they all look good on the shelf. Yeah, I do quite like him. I'll get them out shortly and we'll have a proper look. Oh, that's really nice artwork too. <clears throat> and then finally, the classic filmation He-Man. It's a very nice, very nice photograph. Adam and the Battle Cats cartoon. Eternia's most wanted. <laughs> the Webster sitcom. It's <laughs> a lot of uh, Easter eggs here. And there we are. Filmation Origins He-Man. He actually does look a bit different. There's some sort of differences. We'll do a comparison shortly, but yeah, there are definitely some differences. The trout pack, though, not a fan of that. And then on the back, that's really nice. Very, very impressive. This is definitely a collector's item. Okay, so stay tuned and we'll check out the actual figures. Okay, so I will try and timestamp this video, so if you're only interested in seeing a particular figure, then you can jump ahead. It will be a little bit longer than my standard videos, but I also am not too clued up on how to do timestamping. So if it isn't on the end product, then you know it's because I stuffed it up. But let's take a look at the He-Man and the Mass of the Universe figure first. Now, I have to say that I am impressed. I wasn't really sure what to expect with this guy. I'm not a huge fan of the other figures. I do collect Masterverse, and I picked up the Masterverse He-Man and Skeletor in this, from this line, uh, from this series, and I don't like them, um, so I'll probably end up selling them, or I'm, I'm not sure. They're just not for me. But in this size, I don't mind it. It does work on the book. It's very different from what we've seen in that line. And for fans of that line, they probably won't really like this that they've reduced the, um, the book because he's really like overly muscular and his, his legs are tiny and his arms are massive. I mean, you've, if you've seen the show, then you know what I'm talking about. But this is very well done. I do like the sculpting in the hair. It gives it something a little bit different. The chiseled look. It's just very, very nice. Now, I don't know if these glow up. I feel like if they did, that'd be pretty cool. I doubt they do. The tail might have missed a trick there. That would have been real neat. And then he also comes with this vac metalized sword, huge, huge sword. The cool thing about this though, is it has this peg. And so you can just stick it straight into his back. So there we are. So I'm not gonna really go over the articulation too much. If you're familiar with the Origins line, then you know exactly that they are highly articulated. Uh, you can take off the limbs, you can interchange them. I won't be doing that with this guy. He's just gonna sit comfortably on the shelf. But I have to say that so far, so good. I am impressed.
So next up is 2000X He-Man. If you already have the 2000X He-Man, then you know what to expect here. He is identical. In fact, I do have a 2000X He-Man here from the standard Origins line. And I've had a quick look and I can't see any differences whatsoever. It is the exact same figure. Metallic is the same metallic. It's not vac metalized on his body. The differences obviously are the weapons. So here's the standard origins sword and then the 40th anniversary version. So that is really the only difference. I mean, it is nice, it's, it is very, very nice, but it's not different enough. And then the axe. And finally, the shield. So that's it. So, and these aren't, um, Similar to the 40th anniversary Masterverse Skeletor and He-Man, they had die-cast accessories. So it would have been nice if these were die-cast. I think it would have justified that price tag a little bit more, but hey. In terms of the actual figure, as I said, there's no distinction whatsoever. It's the standard practice that we've come to see time and time again. The card back, however, is different. I do have a carded version of the Origins version, so you can see it's not the same at all. It is in keeping with the 2000X artwork, the font, everything. Next up is the Filmation He-Man. Now I was excited about this one only because I am a fan of that Filmation look, but I have to say I'm a bit disappointed. His face is just, he's just pouting. I don't know why they did that. It's a real shame. Really disappointed with that look. I don't know why they did that, why they couldn't get it right. That being said, if you were to do that, I think it does look good. The dark eyebrows, the sculpting, and the eyes and the nose, and the hair, it's very straightforward, but that's how it was in the show. It's just that trout pout. But the figure itself, it does actually have a few distinctions. So here's the standard Origins version. So you can see his armor is different. And one of the biggest changes is he actually has a scabbard on his back for his sword. But also just around the belt here, they've removed all of those extra features and the same for the cuffs. And I believe that's because that's how it was in the show. I can't recall exactly, but pretty sure that's why. And then his boots as well. They've removed the yellow fur tops and just gone with standard brown. So he is a different enough variant that if you are a you know completist you want them all then yeah he is he's different enough so um although he is essentially the same figure with a few bits and pieces if they'd got the head right he would have been an absolute must-have but because of that head i'm not so sure unfortunately i also um have a retro carded back version and you can see there is also a distinction with the two cards very subtle but the explosion on this one is a bit more it's it's bolder it's a deeper red and there's more of it the masters is also a little bit smaller but other than that it is the same but it's that reverse artwork it's just so so good it's so good to look at and then finally his sword 
So again, it's fac metal. Mine has a little bit of a crack on it there. It's a shame, or it could be an imperfection. But it is more in keeping with the cartoon version as opposed to the standard version that comes with the Origins. And it is taller. And it just fits ever so nicely in the back there. Well, I say that, actually, no, it's very loose. Yep, I hate my words there, that's really loose. Oh well. It would still look good on the display. <laughs> so, yeah, a bit disappointing with the sculpt, but there are some sort of differences to make it somewhat unique. Okay, so possibly saving the best till last, I dare say that this is the one that most collectors are interested in, the New Adventures He-Man. And it's possibly because we haven't seen anything from New Adventures in such a long time. Now, I did think that it wouldn't work on the Origins book because it's too beefy, but it does. And similar to the He-Man and the Mass of the Universe version, they didn't go too much with that guy, they brought him down. It's the opposite with this, they've brought him up rather than kept him streamlined, which is what he was like in the show, but it still works. And because they're all Origins, they're all going to look good together. He has a very good head sculpt. I do like the ponytail at the back there, it's a nice touch. And then he comes with his vac metalized futuristic sword, just goes straight into the sheath at the back, and he also comes with his vac metal shield. So he's a very, very nice figure. Very impressed, definitely my favorite so far. So my final thoughts on the 40th anniversary He-Man 4-pack from Mattel Creations. This is definitely going to be a controversial topic whichever way you look at it because on one hand we've got four figures that most people want or at least two of them most people want on the other hand you've got that ridiculously high price tag. So I'm not going to harp on about the price yet yeah, it was ridiculously expensive and still is and this is not worth it, it really really isn't. But that being said, it doesn't take away that they have created something very memorable here. You've got all the bells and whistles that you'd expect from a collector's four pack. He's got so many Easter eggs hidden all over the boxes and the artwork, plus the actual figures themselves. The fact that they went that extra mile to just have them with the slide back cards so you can enjoy the figure and put it back and have it mint on card if you choose. That's something that really appeals to me. That being said, I do think that Mattel have shot themselves in the foot because they're either damned if they do and damned if they don't when it comes to releasing these figures. People that couldn't afford this price will want these figures, certainly the New Adventures and possibly the He-Man and the Masters, they'll want those in the standard release. But then people who paid the money to buy them are going to feel hard done by, so it's going to be a bit of an issue. I think they could have given these guys a little bit more extra features to make them stand apart. Yeah, they do have the nice card back, but the vac metal really should have been die cast just to bump up that price tag and make them a little bit more exclusive. That being said, I am very, very pleased and very grateful that I managed to get one. If you like this video and you like this content, then please do consider subscribing. And until next time, take care.